Coping with the after effects of war, often it's our nation's veterans who show the strongest signs of post-traumatic stress disorder upon returning from service. And one South Carolina family is still reeling from the loss of a loved one, and they are looking to help others in similar situations during this holiday season. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Roller has our story. We were, we were married in 99, so about 18 years. Um, when we were married, he was a combat corpsman in the Navy. And the goal was to get married and um, him get out of the Navy and us start a life together. However, after just two years, 9-11 happened. Colin Jeffcoat decided to join the National Guard for three deployments, pushing back those plans until 2012. He was a lot more on edge. I really just chalked it up to him being trying to get acclimated. In September, Jeff Coates' fellow medic committed suicide. And I remember my husband saying to me, you know, I understand because you just can't make it turn off. Sadly, Sugar Jeff Coates says her husband couldn't either. Two months later, he took his own life, leaving behind their four children, Cole, Olivia, Jonah, and Judah. What you do matters, and you're not replaceable, and your families can't replace you and your country can't replace you. Cole, just 13 years old, using his love of Star Wars to cope with the loss of his dad. My father was like Anakin. He kept all of his emotions on the inside, trying to conceal them, hide them from the rest of the world. I hope this can be a lesson for anyone who bottles everything up. Try not to, it isn't healthy. Now the mom of four wants people to know there's not only hope, but help. Christina Burr has been an angel for the family. She was based with Jeffco in South Carolina and is now working with Mission 22 to raise money for the Jeffco family and other veterans suffering with PTSD. Red Ventures has offered to match dollar for dollar every penny that we raise. Wow, that is amazing. Reporting in Charlotte, I'm Rachel Roller for NBC Charlotte.